All right, Cryptonauts. Welcome to the last episode of Crypto Chill and Chat. This is episode number 10, the last one of the year, and possibly the end of this series. Who knows? Maybe we might bring it back. Maybe we won't. Who knows? There's so much more going on with C3 Media that we can expand on. It's It, it doesn't stop. Right, Crypto Listener? It doesn't stop. It just keeps going and going and going. We're just starting... Yeah. We're, we're just starting to revamp with uh, uh, starting the next the new year. We're gonna have uh, women in crypto uh, podcast episodes that Crypto List is gonna be hosting here pretty soon. So that's gonna be exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah. So get ready for that. With that said, Cryptonauts, anything and everything that you hear on this episode is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing here is financial advice. With that said, let's go ahead and check out Twitter. Um, actually, listen, if you don't mind just checking out Twitter yourself and whatever you got going on in your Twitter world, feel free to share. So, let's see here. Rick, eh, Rick tweets, is 2022 going to be ape shit crazy in a good way for Ravencoin? Hells yeah. Let's click that. 92% says hells yeah. 7.9% says no with a cry face. Mm-mm-mm. Cool thing just wrapped up a uh, 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 Twitter space that was phenomenal. I think they hit like roughly around like what sixty five, right, Lisa? Yeah, there was uh, anywhere from sixty to sixty five at any given time. Yeah, that was pretty cool, man. I did like that. It was really good. It was really good. It was like a perfect formula. That that just to end the year off was great. It's everything that I wish I I could have done, but cool thing is just so much more cooler than me. <laughs> All right, we got some more people showing up to talk about anything and everything crypto. And I'm sure a lot of people here are going to want to talk about Ravencoin because that's what I see coming in. Raven Skulls, talk about your project. This is obviously being recorded. It's going to be posted on the C3 Media YouTube channel. And for all the podcast episodes that we have, uh, uh, podcast platforms that we have out there, for everyone to hear what you got going on the Raven Skulls project or, or just Raven Assets, whatever you guys want to chat about. I'm just literally scrolling through Twitter right now, checking out what's going on before we wrap up this year. And this is our last episode of Crypto Chill and Chat, by the way. Episode 10. We've done 10 of these episodes for this particular series. So, welcome. Hmm. For some reason, I can't give them speaking abilities. There we go. They can speak. I have given you a mouth. Please speak. There you go. Let's see, Bo- Boss Meta Chick. Hmm. Okay. Terrible. Has anyone else seen the bearish bot post on stock twits saying AMC to $65? Question mark. Uh huh. The AMC squeeze. The Raven Accumulator tweets Raven is my baby, but it's disheartening to watch it give away its gain. On every move, couldn't hold the support at uh, 0.1060. Obviously, we are very early here, but we must show some follow through after the move higher with volume, especially like we had with Ravencoin Adams uh, OSMO. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't let me talk by myself, man. You guys are here too. Feel free to chime in. Anything and everything. Any cryptos. Mango Farms. Was part of a space earlier today. He was in the, the quoting space, which was really good. I'm going to say it again. It was good. 100%. A lot of people are going to be talking about that for a long time. And it was Mango Farms. Or it was, sorry, not Mango Farms. It was Doug's first um, uh, Twitter space. And quote thing. He did a good job, by the way. Good job. Raven Skulls, go ahead. Welcome to. Uh, yeah, I, um, I, I, I wouldn't get too hung up on. You know the the price action as it is right now. I mean, we got you know I feel like we got the wind in our sails with just everything that's popping on the exchanges, a billion apes, degens. You know, obviously uh, leading the way on that. Um, and, and then we have the the happening coming up. I mean, to me, we're gonna come back from this. You know, this little retrace back. And, um, you know, I just, uh, in, in any rally or, you know, large move up, you always have a retrace, a little bit of a pullback, some, some 
you know, are in it just to take profits, and others, you know, we we buy and hold. You know, I think I mined, you know, over fifty thousand Raven this year, and I haven't wow. sold one of them. So yeah, you know, there's a that day will come, but uh, you know, it's more in the high single dollar digits or double digits, <laughs> you know, where I would even consider doing that. So. Um, yeah, shouldn't get down on that. And um, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. As far as the you know Raven Raven Skulls project, it's uh, uh, basically we minted them as sub assets. It's the uh, twenty two attributes of the Raven. Um, you can check it out at ravenskulls.io or also on uh, just NFTs. So um, <clears throat> series one was minted that way. Series two is more one of ones. Um, so there's each title that we're doing, but uh, presented in a little bit different uh, format. And then um, we kind of have a little um, pet uh, series that we went with. It's called uh, Jesters with a Z. Uh, different, um, excuse me, skull type uh, uh, skeleton uh, jesters. And doing that in conjunction with an artist named uh, Dave Link. Uh, I've been working with Dave since 2007, 2008. He's an amazing artist. And, you know, told him what we had available here. He's like, sure, whatever you can, whatever you can do with these. So started listing them uh, about, you know, they, they cost about 300 rate each. And then if they don't sell, um, I, you know, I bring the price down a little bit. So that's been uh, it's been doing doing okay. So, cool. That's about it from my end. All right, thank you. Well, I'm looking through your Twitter profile right now. Um, got a lot of stuff going on, for sure. Raven having an eighth moving to POS GPU miners. Nice. I'm gonna take that meme. It's a nice one. <laughs> It's funny because I, I was drinking the coffee and I just set the cup down and I put my hand by the, the back of the uh, GPU and I'm like, oh, this keeps us pretty nice and warm. So it's a good spot for it. It's right next to uh, you know, the computer that I'm on to get onto Twitter. Which is your coolest entity you purchased this year? Oh, that I purchased? Um, I'm going to say I just did a my first billion eight. Uh, purchased today I uh, got them with glasses a cowboy hat an earring and uh, I, I really think that project uh, has got some legs I think people are really gonna um, start parking up take notice you see some people they'll just go in they'll they'll buy the, the rares and then they immediately you know they're just maybe in it to flip it you know double or triple their money um, and they're just, you know, re relisting them. And, you know, some, some are at, like, crazy prices. But, you know, if you look at all the other, you know, ape-related projects on Ethereum, I just look at it and I say, hey, this is the first one. This is really the, uh, the uh, OG on the Ravencoin network. So this is, this is one to watch. How, how, come, how come you didn't uh, tweet about it? Yeah, so yeah, I bought it and then I ran out to dinner with my wife and we just got back uh, <laughs> from a supermarket run. So yeah, uh, but I, I will post it—the one that I bought. Nice. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. I'm looking at the Billion Ape Club. Do I get? Uh, extra kudo points if I said the greatest NFT that I bought was your book or no? Ah, I, 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 <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, you get an extra kudo point for that. Yes, yes. Let everybody know. Buy my book for sure. How much do I owe you? Just tell me afterwards. <laughs> Number one of the Billion Ape Club has been listed. Awesome. What's so special about these billion ape? Hmm. Billion apes. 
you know, I, I don't know if you've looked at, um, you know, going onto the Discord and look at the uh, rarity traits, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, like I said, I bought the one, and then I'm, I'm going to wait for some additional ones to uh, list up. But the nice thing is, just like the D-Gen smokers, they just, you know, they, they drop on uh, Ravenist, and you, you just got to know the ones to look for. Uh, based on the rarity traits, and uh, I grabbed my first one. So, so Ravenist is a new um, ex uh, marketplace for NFTs on the Ravencoin blockchain. How has that been for you since it's new? Is there's, there's still like uh, bugs to be fixed, or did the developers do a damn good job pushing it out uh, without really any kind of, I guess, issues? Yeah, no, it's. It's, it's awesome. The first purchase experience, I went to buy it, and then, you know, they, they want you to have a balance before. Uh, so I'm like, oh, damn. So I transferred over, like, a 1,000 Raven. You have to wait a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes, because it's got to go through uh, 30 confirmations on the blockchain. But then the funds were there, you know, kind of uh, immediately after that. And then I started looking through some... Uh, some of the apes that I would want, and then you know, I grabbed the one, you know, based on the uh, rarity traits. But again, you know, what happens with projects like these, if people get certain ones and they go ahead and they relist them right away, they're trying to flip them, um, you know, that, that brings the floor up for the whole project. And that's, you know, I mean, just like with Ethereum, you know, you had people who mined, uh, and we're just, you know, apes, they just had these huge holdings of Ethereum, and that's how, you know, they can pay these crazy numbers for, I, I forget what that, the, um, the ape project is, there's the, um, um, you know, Board Ape Yacht Club, and that's on Ethereum, and then there's uh, whatever the original is that's, you know, fetching. Mm -hmm. you know, really really high prices so you know, as long as the floor keeps climbing then it, it kind of feeds on itself right someone sees that and they say hey you know I can jump on this I can flip it you know maybe make some more raven for myself or something else I want to buy or just hold the raven whatever so it's all good perfect nice well thanks for chatting I want to get uh, Crypto Lissa on. She had a very good meetup. What was it yesterday? What, what day are we on? Well, Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday. He had a very good uh, spaces yesterday morning or around afternoon -ish. You want to talk about that and how that went about? Yeah, so every Monday at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I run a um, Twitter space geared more towards um, women in crypto. Uh, or women in NFTs, uh, Super Coder, who is also in this chat right now, she's my co-host. Uh, my husband actually came up with the idea of a, a GM, or Good Morning, as it's called uh, on Twitter, it's called GM, uh, but our token is called GMT, and it's uh, pretty much Good Morning token, um, because our space is held at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so they're still technically morning, but um, anybody that shows up, um, we, you just drop your Ravencoin address. Um, we are giving away those. Um, only 100 ever made. Um, I also do other NFT giveaways during that time um, to women, um, and then we will walk you step-by-step -step through how to create NFTs, um, answer any questions, uh, you know, for Ravencoin or just, you know, it's like I said, it's geared towards women. All are welcome. Um, but yeah, yesterday it was a short meet. Uh, I started 30 minutes late. I had a prior engagement I had to go to, but, um, uh, you know, each one, we're just getting started with this. So each one is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, if women get on and they just want an adult chat, then, you know, we can just have an adult chat. Like, that, you know, it's, that's cool. Um, but it's just geared 
towards getting more women into this space. Um, and then Thursdays, I am hosting at noon Pacific Standard Time, pretty much an, just solely based on NFTs um, space. And that space is, I will also be doing NFT giveaways that's geared more towards the general public, um, kind of like tonight's um, space as far as, um, you know, walking step-by-step step through how to create NFTs, um, just answer any questions that may come about. And, of course, if I don't have a question, kind of guiding you to somebody that has that question uh, or has that answer, I should say, to that question. Um, so, yeah, those are my two Twitter spaces that I run on uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Um, this Thursday will be my first one, so come out, support it. Um, I'll have a reminder set up tomorrow afternoon sometime um so yeah those are my two and then i am starting with c3 media um my podcast geared towards women in crypto and nfts just to try to bring more women on wow you're doing a lot you're doing a lot well all the best all right, anyone else? While well, I'm scrolling through Cryptolissa's uh, Twitter uh, account, seeing all her posts. Oh, and another thing I did want to touch on. I am a mental health advocate. Please, if you are having issues mental health-wise, because crypto and NFTs can do that. I've been there. I've done that. I suffer with mental health myself. Please feel free to reach out. I have Discord. Um, you know, I have Twitter. I've got Instagram. I've got all that. If you're, like, you know, if you're clicking on the YouTube channel, like, please insert my Discord, John, because my Discord's always open. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, Twitter's always open. For sure. So Let me show that right now. Where is it at? If you have, yeah. you know, mental health problems, reach out you know if you just need somebody to talk to please please reach out perfect gracias what about raven assets what you been doing it's almost the end of the year did you uh, give away a bunch of assets over the holiday yep i did i gave out my family got bitcoin for christmas uh I gave them Ravencoin paper wallets last year, but they lost them. Like, no. So, like, it's time I just sent it to their uh, email through Coinbase, because you can do uh, gifting through Coinbase. So that was good. And then I've just been giving out assets on Twitter and Discord and uh, anywhere else I can. Which so. is one of the coolest... Uh, um... A- assets or NFTs you've been giving away that you still that you still are giving away. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, I'm assuming you're still giving away a bunch of uh, uh, assets or NFTs for the holidays, right? Or are you done giving away stuff? Oh no, I'm just gave away a ton of thumbs up tokens. Uh, there's some asset created by Bruce Fenton. Oh. Uh, you want some of those? Send me your address. Send it, bro. It's on my profile. You already know, man. All right, cool. Uh, let me ask you. So, what was your, what is your coolest, awesomest, bestest? That's that's worth gobs and gobs and gobs of Ravencoin NFT that you're giving away. That I'm giving away. Yes. Crypto Monas right now on my uh, Twitter. There's a Crypto Mona giveaway. I'm giving away two of them. I'm actually gonna. Uh, pick the winners here in a couple minutes. Awesome, man. You already know my address, man. There you go. Just send it. No, you gotta <laughs> sign up. You gotta go to the tweet and you gotta follow the rules. And oh. then maybe you'll win. Oh, okay. Let's see. Where's this tweet at? Let's see. You go to the profile. It's just up there. It's not pinned, but it is on my profile right below. It's the second tweet. The second tweet? Okay, let's go back up here. Because I'm already if looking. You want Crypto Monas. If you want one, I'll give you one. No, it's okay. You don't have to give me a Crypto Mona. You know where his address is. You already know. <laughs> I'll just send it 
to you. Oh, that's so sweet. You don't got to do that. I'm just Josh now. Love you, John. We all love you. Thank you, man. My birthday's coming up, man. My birthday's coming up on Sunday. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're going to be 50, 60. Oh, God. Like oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. That. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Somebody give me my life alert. <laughs> Pressure spiking, bro. Oh, uh, help me reduce my cholesterol levels. Mm. That's awesome, though. What are you doing for your birthday? I will be doing podcast. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Exciting. Raven coins, though. Yeah. Oh, of course. Every anything and everything, man. I always do anything and everything. Actually, I don't know. I got to check my calendar. I got a lot of stuff on the calendar, you know. I don't. I, I can't. I can't live without my calendar. My calendar tells me everything what I'm doing. When you do, when you get in that Craig Wright uh, interview. Uh, that's already in the works. There's a lot of legalities that we got to go over. I I can't ask him certain things, and he can't answer certain things. And you know, it is it is what it is. But we're gonna get him on and uh, uh, make sure that we just keep it clean as a whistle, and uh, because the CIA doesn't really want everybody to know what's going on behind the scenes of crypto and blockchain. So they just want it. Just they want us to play it the way it should be played. In front of the curtains. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but drinking, like, what is I think this is spearmint. Spearmint tea right now? Mm. So good right now. See, quote thing, uh, let's see, Voices Live, Ravencoin Assets, Zelcor. Zel- oh, hey, whoa, whoa, hello, Zelcor. This is a tweet. Let's see, what do you guys think? Uh, dear at Zelcor, your wallet has only has one Ravencoin Asset. It's lonely. Please add seed money to your Zelcor ASAP. We've got tons of holders who would love to see it and use Zelcor to hold their seed. What? Let's add C3 Media Coin in there, bro. There's a bunch of other coins they can add on there. Oh man, I'm so gonna tweet. Where, who, 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 where are they at? Zelcor. I'm gonna message them right now. Bro, there's like a billion gazillion other. I should follow them first, right? I have a really bad habit of not following people. So I just click the follow. Yeah, considering I'm a C3 media partner. <laughs> <laughs> what it does it? Oh. No, it doesn't. Oh, I got I got to make that happen right now then. Okay. Whoops. Hold, hold on. Let me just let me just tweet at Zelcar real quick. Uh there are there are many assets you can add to the list. Who do we get in touch? To make this happen. Reply. Alright, let's switch over to uh, C3 Media. Twitter, here we go. Oh, I just saw your face. There you are, Cryptolissa, follow. Okay, got it. SOS, follow. Bank of America. I'm not going to follow Bank of America because it's a pro... It says right there, promoted. I'm not going to do that. Come on, you guys. That's a scam. Bank of America is a total scam. Scam. Bro, so I was uh I was having this conversation um with a gal over some boba, right? We're having a nice some nice boba talking about uh crypto and uh, why I think crypto is good over uh over banks, right? You know, it's the best way to do it, especially if you uh you want to earn some interest, you can stake it. I use I use uh Celsius network to uh to pretty much put my my crypto up uh, to earn a little ex- extra interest, and uh, she she pretty much shunned me because um, in in her mind uh, she earns more <laughs> on 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 banking fees or banking interest than uh, than I do on crypto. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. Stake uh, in DeFi, you can make crazy gains. Uh, <laughs> On your crypto interest right now. Right, exactly. So I, 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 I responded as, you know, 
professionally and kindly as possible while grinding my teeth. Like, I can't believe somebody has that, that, that thought that you can actually earn more on, on bank banking interest, centralized banking interest, like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank. You know, like, where, where in the world do you even get 1% in any of these, like, you know, these banks? They don't, they don't give you not even a single percent. Like, for reals. They give you, I think, what it is. What, what is it? Uh, 0.001%? Do you guys know? It's either it's either point yeah, under a percent, right? Very bad. It's for 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 sure it's under a percent. I mean, and then and then she was like, well, you know, the thing the thing about crypto and buying Bitcoin is that, and that's all she used, of course, Bitcoin. The thing about buying Bitcoin is that it's too volatile. Like, if I'm gonna be putting my life savings in there, I can't have that volatility. And I said, well, that's why there's a thing called stable coins. If you don't want the volatility, if you don't want to play the market. You don't want to risk your money, and you just want to put your whatever ten thousand, whatever amount you have, um, just convert it over to uh, you know USDT, USDC, or um, what, what's another one, or uh, CBDC. Die. Yeah, there's die. Yeah, die. Mhm. And you can easily st- put put that on uh, Celsius. And uh, earn interest. Even on Coinbase. Even Coinbase gives you a little bit extra. I mean, it's still better than than what the banks will offer you. So I, I try to keep it, you know, like, okay, well, I mean, please, just, just elaborate on which bank gives you at least 1%. At least 1%. None. Dude, Nexo. I mean, Nexo is the place you can point those people to. I mean, Nexo is basically a bank. But they offer really good uh, daily interest on your crypto. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, they, they are like a licensed uh, lender and credit lender and stuff. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. Next Not to... DeFi, but it's, they still pay good interest. Nice. How much? More or less. Do you know? You can earn up to 20% paid daily. Not 20% daily, but 20% annually paid out daily. Mm-hmm. So, okay. like, it's actually insane. What are the uh, the fees? There's always fees somewhere. I mean, it's either deposit fees, withdrawal fees, uh, maintenance fees. No, There's always... Withdrawals, free withdrawals, no fees, just interest. I mean, you just send it. You make an account, you KYC or whatever. You send in your stable coins, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum whatever it is, and they pay you interest in the crypto that you send in there. So if you have Bitcoin in there, you get daily payments of Bitcoin. You get daily payments of Ethereum, mm-hmm. uh, daily payments of stable coins, and uh, free withdrawals. So, you know, if you had a uh, ton of stable coins, I think they pay the best interest on stable coins. But if you had a large sum of money just send it to nexo and then live off the interest uh, you know that's uh one way to go about it hmm hmm so how do they make their money they lend so nexo is you can send your crypto in they do instant loans so mm-hmm. you can actually take lo- instant loans against your crypto collateral and they send you uh, straight to your bank account, or uh, they'll send you stable coins, whatever it is. So I've taken a few loans on Nexo against the crypto I've had in there, and they uh, it basically is like an instant loan. You get the you get the money, and uh, you still earn interest on the collateral that you took the loan out against. Well, you um, you had my interest. Now you have my attention. So I am looking up Nexo.io right now to show the viewers on YouTube and for the listeners listening what's going on here. You can definitely go to YouTube and check it out on C3 Media to see what I'm looking at. Or just go to Nexo.io. That's N-E-X. I, what is it? N-E-X-O.io. I don't know why I got that mixed up. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do we got here? Um why use the Nexo Exchange? Enjoys instant transactions, fixed price execution, and unlimited number of swaps on the smartest exchange out there. Uh, fixed price execution. Pay exactly what you see. Unlike most exchanges, 
but price might fluctuate by up to 5%. Nexo fixed fixes the rate the moment you place your order. That means the price you see is the price you pay. What do you mean the price you see the price you pay? I don't what are you paying? I thought you said there was no fees. There's no fees. They launched an exchange. Originally, Nexo was just the lending uh, crypto loan platform. Oh, they I just see. Added the swap. So. Okay, I see the exchange up here. Okay. Uh, swap with lightning speed. The crypto market moves fast, so you sh so should you. Exchange any of the available market pairs in real time. Your balance are updated instantly. Uh, smart routing system. We crunch the numbers for you. 175 plus market pairs. All top uh, coins are a click away. So it doesn't look like they're really shilling the whole uh, earn interest. It's more shilling the, the, the marketplace, right? The exchange. At the top of the website, there's a tab that says earn. Uh, I don't see it. I earn borrow exchange. <clears throat> really? Yep. Hmm. Nexo.io. Uh, yeah, it's just at the top of the website. but Mine, mine says buy exchange company. Seven more options up there. Well, I mean, it's it says buy, exchange, company, security, and help. Uh, well, I got buy, earn, borrow, exchange, an exo card, token, company, security, help. <laughs> you must not be in the U.S. then. I am in the U.S. Well, maybe they're not. Are you in California? No. Oh, hey, maybe. John, go to uh, nexo.io dash. Earn, or sorry, slash earn dash crypto. Okay. Uh, dot io slash earn what? Yep, slash earn dash crypto. Dash crypto. Okay. Earn 20% on crypto. Okay. Now, here we go. This is different. This is a different site. Maybe the other one was a scam. I don't know. It was one of those, those top... Uh, uh, ads promoted this one does say buy earn borrow exchange nexo car token company okay so I click on start earning I'm sure it's gonna ask me to fill out an account uh, yeah okay I just kind of wanted to see what they had but it's pretty awesome so you can earn interest on a ton of cryptos uh, I'll try to find a list and send it to you uh, you know you okay. can send your dogecoin in and earn dogecoin so I, I'm looking at their list right now. They have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, BNB, Cardano, Chainlink, Dai, Dogecoin, EOS, Ethereum, uh, EuroX, GBPX, Litecoin, Luna, Nexo Token, Pax Dollar, Pax Gold, Polkadot, Polygon, Ripple, Solana, Stellar, Tether, Tron, True USD. USD coin and USDX. You can uh, you can place those and earn some yield. All right, sounds good to me. Let's earn some three per. Oh, here we go. It's right down here. All right, so I don't see the twenty percent you're talking about. Uh, even though it says up here twenty percent, earn twenty percent on crypto. Uh, make your idle digital uh, with with Nexo start earning twenty percent APR paid out daily. Okay, but when you scroll down here, huh, down to the bottom, when you earn, looks like the only one that's paying twenty percent right now is on Matic. On Matic, yeah, I see that. There it is on Matic, which is good because Matic is actually a good blockchain. I like Matic. Matic's pretty cool. A, a, uh, what is that? Avalanche? Avalanche, seventeen percent. That's pretty good, man. Huh? That's really good, dude. Seventeen, twenty percent. Yeah, these are not bad. I like these numbers. Bye, bye, thanks. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're even earning three percent on Doge, and Doge is a one of those free coins. You can like, I remember I used to get a thousand, like hundreds of thousands of them for like thirty cents. Like no joke. I I think it was like uh, like, like thirty thousand. For like 30 cents and that was even like a an inflated price because i think at that time when i when i bought them off ebay um the current price was like ten thousand dogecoin for like three cents i think it was so technically it would have been like nine cents for the thirty thousand dogecoin 
but of course it's eBay, so they inflate the price. So it's like thirty cents for thirty thousand. I was like, eh, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Dogecoin. Heh <laughs> heh. Give a little doggy to somebody. Unbeknownst that I was gonna go to like seventy five cents. I mean Ouch bro, ouch. I know. <laughs> Cause I sold it after I sold it after like a two X or three X way way back in the days. Way before it even became like on people's radar. I hope that doesn't become us when Ravencoin moons and we all look back on how much we spent on NFTs. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I know. That's kind of what I'm like grinding my teeth about. I'm like, oh, it's going to hurt, man. It's going to hurt. It's got to make it all back, bro. Yeah, buy my book. All right. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk? I didn't even, I'm not even paying attention. Is I see more people showing up. Anybody else want to chat about anything crypto? We got... They got. We, there's a lot of crypto projects out there. You want to talk about the Doge? Let's talk about the Doge. You want to talk about the Link? About the Chain Link? Let's talk about the Chain Link. Whatever you want. Some BNB. I like BNB. BNB is cool. I'm going. I'm gonna throw a curveball here. I'm going to sacrifice crypto for Pulse X. Pulse, Pulse X. Okay. You're sacrificing. You said you're sacrificing some crypto. So you're talking like yep. a Braven coin or uh, another coin you have? Bitcoin, uh, any coin I have, I'm probably going to put into PulseX. What? I believe it will go to the moon. All right, let's check that out. PulseX. Um, wh- where do I go? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the website's up yet. PulseX. Let's check it out. Um, let's see here. I Oh, Pulse. Um, it says Pulse X, but I see Pulse Sex, but maybe I'm just not reading it right. Let's click it. Okay, yeah, it's Pulse X. Pulse X. Oh, God. Jeez. Don't go to the wrong site, bro. I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, token distribution. Ugh. Let's see. what. Uh, where are you? What, what's the website? Pulse, Pulse X dot i o no that's not that's someone else's it's pulsex.com it's but it's just a placeholder pulse x is richard hart's uniswap fork that will live on pulse chain okay yeah yeah it hasn't launched but basically you'll have people have a chance to quote sacrifice crypto to receive pulse x points once it launches uh, early next year so when you say sacrifice, what do you mean? It goes into a smart contract or it's burned? It's in a burn, burn wallet or what, what's going on? It goes to an address that you you don't know who owns the address. Like they call it, Richard Hart calls it sacrificing for, you know, I'm sure legal reasons. You're not sending uh, him your crypto, but you're sending crypto to an address. All you know is you're sending your crypto. It sounds crazy, I know. It sounds crazy, bro. <laughs> but um, anyway, so you you will get rewarded in PulseX tokens for your sacrifice. So, there you go. But you're, you're still not answering. I want to know where this what this wallet is. Like, uh, is it like uh, CIA uh, wallet? Yeah. Is is he is he in cahoots with the CIA? And he's trying yeah, to. Could be. Yeah, could be. I don't know. He's he's in he's in cahoots with the Russians. I knew it, man. I knew it. Or the or, or is it the Chinese? He, he's he's in cahoots with someone. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's just... I want a little transparency on that, please. If you know any more information on that, let me know, right? All right, I will, yeah. So this is an ERC-20, which is uh, obviously... No, 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 no. A, no? Nope. Okay, it's what... It's not an ERC-20. It's a, it's a, it'll be a PRC-20, which will be a post-chain version of an ERC-20. Okay. But what is it, what does that mean? Okay, Pulse Chain will be an Ethereum fork. So Pulse Chain, he's gonna copy the state of the Ethereum network. So okay. Anyone, anyone with ERC twenty tokens uh, will have a copy of their tokens on Pulse Chain when it launches. Okay. So it's like it's like a total fork. So. Okay. What are the modifications? Uh, fully proof of stake, uh, delegated proof of stake. Uh. They brought, I think they sped up the block times. 
Oh yeah, right that's here. Pretty much it. Yeah, Ethereum's four time by using three second blocks. Ethereum is around thirteen seconds. Okay, I see that. So it is four times faster than Ethereum. Um, the largest right. airdrop in the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Every Ethereum NFT will be you'll have a copy of it on Pulse Chain. So it'll be, just be really interesting to see like. Uh, what happens when every single Ethereum user gets basically duplicate coins on a new chain that instantly when it launches, you'll be able to trade on Pulse X, which is the Uniswap of Pulse Chain. Literally a fork of uni, uh, uni, Uniswap on Pulse. Wow. And they'll all have liquid pairs at launch. That's kind of that's kind of interesting, man. Let's, let's, let's see what Gus has to say. Gus wants to speak. Go ahead, Gus. Oh, did he leave? It looks like he left. No, he's connecting. Oh. He's muted now. Oh, okay. I don't see Gus in here. Not on my phone. I'm an algorand, uh, undercover bull. I see that. You want to talk about algorand? Let's do that. Yeah, it pays 4% APY. It's, uh... Pure proof of stake, PPOS. Uh, they have some pretty good DeFi options with the Tiny Man. Um, I'm earning, I think it's 17% interest on Tiny Man. And, tiny uh, Man? What yeah. is Tiny Man? I don't understand this Tiny Man thing you're talking about. That's it's basically like the staking, uh, where you can stake your algorand. So what do you? Um, where do I? What website do I go to 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 do this? See, it's I got it saved right here. It's uh, Tiny it's Man, app, uh, huh? It's app.tinyman.org. App.tinyman.org. Got it. Okay. Or, uh, you stake it in pairs with Yieldly. Okay. Use at your own risk, of course. Fasten your seatbelt. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. Then I would never tell anyone to do my stupid, stupid degen moves. <laughs> All right. Um, I am staking it with the, and they also do like the governance period over three months. So you stake it for three months and you like go with those tokens and then it pays out um, based off of the amount of that is, that is staked. It's interesting. So they have four pairs here, USDC, uh, Algo, well only for, oh okay, hold on, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, they just have four pools, right? And yeah. I'm assuming you're doing the USDC Algo. No, I'm doing the Yieldly, Yieldly Algo. Oh, Yieldly uh, Algo. Okay, 32%. Wow. It's yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. Well, I doubt it's sustainable, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, I'm sure. So what, what is this being, what is this built on? Um, it's, um, to my knowledge, it's built on Algorand. Um, oh, okay. I don't know if you know this, but the Chivo wallet that was uh, built in for uh, El Salvador. Uh-huh. That's built on Algorand as well. Okay. Okay. I did not know that. Yeah, they got some interesting stuff, and I really like their, uh, the guy who create is, is a fucking really smart guy. Hmm. All right. Any Anyone else? I think we had Gus. Gus wanted to speak. Go ahead, Gus. What do you got? Anything and everything crypto for the C3 Media I guess YouTube channel. This is the last, the last final crypto chilling chat of the year. Thank you all for coming by. <laughs> We're gonna end hey, this. Hey, hey. Go ahead, Gus. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, good evening, everyone. All the Ravenites here. Uh, for call. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <And> yeah. Uh, <laughs> remember, uh, price is not. You know, uh, is is easy to focus on price. or price is coming. Uh, Let's tokenize everything. Uh, I wanted to also give a, a good word for all the artists that are here, all the NFT supporters, and uh, let's keep tweeting. What I wanted to talk about is uh, I've probably sent a link to a couple of, of, of folks on DM, but there's a, something that came on my radar is uh, the tag protocol, and uh, the stack coin is about $0.1945 right now. And, uh, but the, it's, uh, the funny thing that they do is they, you could register a hashtag 
NFT and use it as a virtual mining machine to mine that coin. So you're mining that coin with your hashtag NFT. And if you want to look it up, uh, John, DACprotocol.com. The white paper is there. Uh, and, but it is what it is. I just wanted to put it on, on someone else's radar. Uh, it might be, I mean, tell me your opinion or what's going on if you see it, read the paper. Okay, tag protocol as in T A G. Roger that. Exactly. Okay, tag protocol. Okay, I'm looking at it right now so everybody can see on, on YouTube uh, uh, or, you know, anyone that's listening can check it out on YouTube or go, just go to tagprotocol.com. Uh, I see tag coin is at 19 cents. And let's see, utilizing blockchain technology to build a store of value, fungible cryptographic assets named as tag coin, which has limited and defined supply that that can be mined by staking another non-fungible cryptographic asset called hashtags, which can be registered and acquired as an NFT token. Tag coin mining yield on the hashtag NFT miner is derived from measuring hashtags performance on various social media platforms using a transparent hashtag performance grading system. And let's see, it's hosted on Binance Chain. Written in, written in solid, solidity, uh, they have NFTs. The price the price work goes from Chainlink, and they get their data from the, the graph and mining it based on uh, social media performance. So it's the people, it's the community that's pushing this. Apparently, there's it's pretty interesting. It's a, it's a, it's very new. I can tell that. I can tell just by the amount of wallets that are out. There's only five thousand wallets. So this I is a very new project. I think started August uh, this this year. So oh, okay, so just people don't know about this because there's only five thousand wallets. That's yeah, not. It's, it, it's not many. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, let's see now. Well, then, take a look at it again. Uh, I'm uh, I'm new to it. I know you could have uh, you could participate on liquidity pools, for example, with uh, BNB and uh, Tarcoin, and uh, like you mentioned earlier, if you're a more stable guy, you could do. I think USDC and and and, uh, and BNB. So it's, I mean, d- different different pairs, right? Uh, or you could get a hashtag. The hashtags I think is like five hundred dollars to register a hashtag, but every five thousand they go up fifty dollars. I think that's the protocol doing that. Uh, it's quite interesting. Okay, Anyways. so to register your hashtag, you have to connect your Brave, uh, your uh, sorry, your. Um, your MetaMask wallet to buy your hashtag. Correct. So I I chose the option of doing it like on my Chrome browser. I just put on a a a, uh-huh. a, a plugin and uh, and that and connected it. It connects automatically. Uh, there's other options for other uh, DApps, decentralized uh, wallets. There, if you want to use that. Let me. Uh, yeah, I see that. I see. I see. There's MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Binance Chain Wallet, SafePal Wallet, Wallet Connect, Token Pocket, and Web3 Wallets. Now, let me ask you guys: Why? Why? Why would I care about owning my own hashtag? I can literally just go to Twitter, put hashtag C3 Media. Like, why do I need to pay money for that? Well, I think it's uh, the, to me it, it kicked because it's uh, an easy way to to make some mula while you sleep, right? Uh, all the folks uh, hashtagging, I don't know, love or Ravencoin. If you register Ravencoin, that is mining tag for you, which has a value of 0.1946 right now. Makes sense. Mm, okay, but only on the uh, only on the local network, right? Correct. Now, what's a threshold withdrawal? Do you do you have have you used it? Yes. Yeah, so I. I I have two hashtags. It's uh, one is like Boricua. I'm not a Boricua, but I think it's funny. I thought that, that thing is gonna get used, so I put Boricua. And my other hashtag is uh, I think Raven Point with like uh, maybe all, all lowercase or maybe a, a capital R. I don't remember because it's specific. And those are mining tag coin. Let me see. Well, if you go to check it out, if you go to tag scan. And put put that whatever hashtag you have. If it's if it's not registered, it's not gonna give you anything. Not gonna ping you. You said tag. You said tag scan. 
Yeah, tagscan.com. If you go to tag protocol, you're there. It's one of the blue buttons, live color blue button on the bottom. You could probably track it that way, John. Okay, let's check it out here. I don't. Yeah, let me see. Oh, there it is, yeah. tag scan. Okay. Out of clothing, can I ask you a question real quick? If you're there. What's up, my dude? You were chosen to win a crypto Mona. Do you want it, or do you just try to pick someone else? Pass it, pass it to somebody else. It's all good. No, no, no. Are you sure? Because I don't even think that you can't have it or something. No, dude. It's all good. Yeah, I'd rather bust somebody else in the community. Hey. I already got. I have two of those, so. Hey, quoting, uh, quoting, Qu you. quoting. My birthday's coming up on Sunday. I don't have a Mona. She's already getting one for me. Don't even try that, John. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Fucking John. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, can I get a Mona for like one hour of every day of my birthday? That's like... <laughs> my birthday is on Sunday. Where you could rent your NFT out? Yeah. Bro, that would be so cool, man. I want to do that. You know? I don't know why you would do that. Why, why do people do that? How do, how do people... I don't understand how people make money off of uh, doing like fractional shares of their NFT and how they actually earn interest. That I still ha That's so new to me. I, I've kind of briefly read up on it, but I can't wrap my head around how this is happening. Like what investors out there are buying a fraction of this and how are... I don't, I don't understand this. Please, somebody explain. I think they use that money to collateralize, like, to then trade with something else that pays interest. And then they pay, like, a part of that interest, pretty much creating themselves as, like, a bank. The people, guys, is super ridiculous. The people who bought the people for, what was that, 60 million? I can't, I can't remember. But that person fractionalized the people NFT and yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, I was reading. Yeah, I was reading that. I was reading that, and I kind I read up uh, like the the fractional shares and how they're earning interest off of that. But I don't I don't understand which investors, uh, how they're making profit off of that by just purchasing this fraction of this beeple, and then they're putting on a smart contract that's earning them interest. Like who on the other end is 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 money laundering with this with this 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 beeple? Fraction. I don't. I don't understand. My head's exploding. It's one hundred percent a security by literally every single definition. Yeah. It fails the Howey test on like every single point. Yes. <laughs> thank you. But I, that's. Yeah. I, but regardless of that, we're just gonna look past that, right? That's just push that. Just push that under the carpet, right? That doesn't. Right. This is all, all crypto, right? <laughs> How are they doing it? Who out there is purchasing? these fractions and how are they earning interest off of this? I don't get it. Yeah, to say I'm confused of the specifications of it is, is an understatement because it, <laughs> it's definitely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, every time there's ridiculous claims like that, right, uh, it, it makes you wonder. Uh, I think you know it, John. I mean, money laundering. You know? <laughs> uh, that's that's my conclusion when I was reading up on that. I was like, that's pretty much what people are doing. All they're doing is washing their money. Washing good, baby. I mean, there's 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 smart there's smart criminals out there for sure. The rich people have been laundering money through art since the dawn of time. So, I mean, it's not stopping with NFTs. It's That's true. Like, the art market is already so manipulated. It's, you know, it's it can be quite disgusting. And obviously, we're seeing a lot of that flow into NFTs. The, the difference is, you know, when you do it on the NFTs, there's going to be a trail, a permanent trail of everything you did. So, not smart to do crime on blockchain. Mm. Mm, yeah, very true. Unless you're using Monero. <laughs> no, I think I think somebody just got there was an article I was reading earlier today. Where is it at? Let me see. 
uh, I think somebody was actually doing uh, money laundering on Monero. Let me go to my my Discord here. So if you go to my Don't say. yeah, exactly. If you get, but I think they finally got they they got they got tracked because you know you can still get tracked on Monero if you actually publish your Monero address on a centralized exchange. Ding ding. Oh no, I didn't know they could find me like that. Yes, they can. I was going to say, you're on-ramp and off-ramp. That's, that's where it's that's, at. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. So let me look for this article. It just came out today. So the, the cool thing about uh, my server uh, in Discord, Cryptocurrency Chat, is that I got a, a crypto news channel that is published by... Um, it, it pulls tweets from uh, news articles. So I just have a bunch of really cool... Uh, news articles that I follow and so instead of going to their websites one by one I just automatically uh, uh, use the bot to post it in my server so I can just scroll through things and see what's going on now let me before I get sidetracked let me find this this article here uh, can we do that for Ravencoin? you can do whatever you want man it's a free world well no I just mean like I'd like to do that on my Discord just Ravencoin yeah, yeah 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 for sure Absolutely. Let's see. When does the next episode, when does the next issue come out of Raven here? Good question. On the first, on uh, the first, sorry. hell yeah. I think uh, Cryptolissa has a little contribution for it this month, and I've got to, dude, I, I've got like a list, i got to kind of prioritize some of this, some of this, because i got a big list of stuff on here, actually. Let me know if I can help with anything. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. There's another mining pool that got dropped. That's that's pretty cool. Actually, two. Two different mining pools. Kadaya. Uh, the, the crypto bullsh guy, he's about to release his. So, yeah. And then the Raven Ninjas. Jeez, there's so many news articles. I can't find it. There's just too many news articles coming out. Now, I want to find this. I'm determined. Let's look. Keep looking. You guys heard of the Mutant Ape, Ape Yacht Club? It surged up 500%. 500%. They want to start a female Ford Ape Yacht, Ford Ape Yacht Club. Are you talking about the apocalyptic apes, John? No, this this is uh, let's see here. This is called the Mutant Ape Yacht Club. I'm guessing you haven't heard of it. Okay. Yeah, they have some kind of like NFT potion that or something that you can like apply. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but. I thought there was like an NFT you could apply to one of your apes and then you would get some kind of transformed ape back. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was some fuckery with that, uh, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think, Dude, yeah. I would I would geek out if this actually happened where like on Ravencoin, for example, you have your NFT and you can actually purchase layers or accessories. Say, for example, I want to switch up my shirt my, for my avatar, my pants. I want to buy some awesome gear, some headgear, some some gauntlets, some awesome boots. I want to be decked out and stuff. I want my sword or my pistol, my shotgun or my rifle or whatever, you know. I want to deck out my guy. And obviously the more items I purchase and I start um, buying higher grade uh, uh, inventory items, my my actual main NFT that has all these, these attachments to it is just naturally going to be more valuable, you know. That's funny you mention that. I'm working on a project just like that on Ravencoin. What? What? What is it called? Can I find it? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, get... no, 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 no. You can't find it because I, I haven't told anyone, but you, but you guys. So. Oh, you, well, you just told like 1.5 million people on on YouTube. Okay. Well, send me everyone listening. Send me a Ravencoin now. Uh, all of it, and we'll be sure to send you some when they come out. Yay! You said all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right, any. What's crazy is all my Ravencoin fell off a boat. 
Hey, let's get Robert up here. Robert's uh, been on standby for a minute. Robert, go ahead. Hey, hello, guys. Uh, yeah, I didn't find a way, so that's why I asked for, uh, for the microphone. Um, you've been talking about that uh, tag uh, website. Can you speak a little bit closer to the microphone? I, I, you're having a lot of echo. Gus, that would that would be Gus. Did he already leave? Uh, oh, there he is, Gus. Gus, do you have an invite code? There he is. Hey, sorry about that. I'm putting my tucking my kid in bed. I'm back. I'm back. What was that? Sorry. Did you just like seriously like, throw your kid in the bed? You're, like you're holding your kid, and you just like chucked him on the bed. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Something like that. No, 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 no. Much love. All right, all right. So Robert was asking about a like a referral code. Yeah, for that uh, uh, tag protocol uh, website. Sounds like we lost them. Avian? Yes, Avian now. I'm doing marketing for that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, even there, I'm, I am on Discord, but I'm not staying there. I'm, I'm managing the, the other social networks and stuff. Are they paying you to do marketing? Uh, not really, no. It's just uh, something that I like to do. I used to work as a, um, um, how you call that, a community manager for a So while we're on the topic of Avian, I did have uh, the privilege of having an interview with one of the Avianites, um, and this is this is what I can tell you that uh, Avian is. Let's go. We got to go back, uh, obviously, way back to uh, Ravencoin, because that's pretty much where Avian came from. But it's many, many like versions down the road. In order to get Avian, so there is the original Ravencoin blockchain that was. Uh, um, you guys recall when there was ASICs involved, where people were building up stuff. Well, when the code was uh, was changed from was it um, uh, X16R to a Kapow, uh, you got you got the um, Ravencoin Classic and the Ravencoin Chain. Well, Ravencoin Classic is pretty much like where the inspiration came from to get um, Avian. So from Raven, from Ravencoin Classic came the um, refresh my mind, Robert. There was another chain 
that was forked off of the Ravencoin Classic. Well, which it was, uh, Ravencoin Lite. Yes. And then then uh, it was Ravencoin Lite, and now you have a Ravencoin. Now you have Avian. Yeah, it was it was a rug pull. So what what happened was they put too much trust in a, a single individual, and that individual ended up doing yeah. a rug pull. At that point, now at the that point, he had the keys of everything, like Twitter, whatever, all the accounts. Uh, the the wallet was in the hands of one person. It was only me that was a different person that has uh, actually the the Telegram group. So uh, a part of the Telegram group, everything was deleted when this guy ran. Wow. Yeah. Well, what's crazy is that the the community. What's crazy is that the community, the Ravenite community. Oh, sorry, the um, the Avian community, is uh is pretty strong. They 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 really support each other. And so when that happened, everybody they they were a little they were a little upset about it. But the next day, they just said, you know what? It is what it is. They got back together and they built it back up. They built it like like within 30 days, they built everything back up and just made this time. Now with Avian rebranded from, from Ravencoin Lite to Avian, they learned their lesson and now they are distributing distributing the, the keys to as many people as possible to prevent any kind of centralization or any rug pulls. Exactly. Right. It's, it's not the, the money for it. I mean, I remember in the day that the, the guy just run off and uh, uh, with, with everything, I've been uh, one of the five nodes to hold the network. You were like, at one point we had three nodes uh, running, and that's it. All the network was three nodes. <laughs> wow. So, uh, yeah. And I've seen a lot of guys like... Uh, DMing and saying like, look how we do, what we do, what do we need to do? Let's save that, you know. So it was a like, really intense at that point. What's the website? Um, AVN dot network. Oh no, I spelled it wrong. A V I A N. It's A V from. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, N, okay. N from night. Hey, as you do that, uh, just in between, I posted the code on, I just tweeted it for whoever was asking for the code. And I'm, thank you. Perfect. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go on your profile if I can. Uh, you won't let me. Yeah, that's right. Minotaur X. That's right. They're they're changing their algorithm as well. They're moving away from uh, X sixteen R. And the GPU is the X16RT, a modified yes, algorithm. Is the RT, yeah. All right. Yeah, we 
we had some problems. Someone dropped uh, dropped some ASICs on the uh, X sixteen R. Uh, yeah, X sixteen uh, R. Of course, that's and that's to be expected. On and then they they kind of uh, messed the, <laughs> the network, so we needed to change the algo. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Well, it's a long way to you know we're we're perfecting the other day. We're working on it. And uh, we can be fine, I guess. All right. The thing is that at, at the moment, like we with this new uh, new team, we we have like really uh, knowledge. Uh, how do you say that in English? Knowledge, knowledgeable people. Yeah, knowledgeable. Yeah. Where are you at, Robert? What's your What's your, what's your... Uh, I'm, I'm from Bucharest, Romania. Ah, oh, Romania. Okay. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we're, so <clears throat> were you were you originally a Ravencoin miner? Uh, yeah, I'm mining Ravencoin since about uh, last uh, this year, January or last year. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I see. Yeah. All right. Quite late. I started quite late. Yeah. Well, I'm in crypto since about 2014. I believe in 2013 November I bought my first uh, 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 Bitcoin, uh, whatever. And uh, yeah, it was a, it was a surprise. Uh, the first time I bought uh, Bitcoin, it was uh, at a conference in Bucharest. Uh, Bitcoin Romania just launched their uh, ATMs, Bitcoin ATMs in in Bucharest. Uh huh. So. Uh, I've been just curious and bought Bitcoin for uh, uh, 10, 10 Romanian lei. That means about uh, two dollars. It was a fraction, and I forgot about it. And uh, in two thousand eighteen, when he it was about I don't know sixteen thousand or something like that uh, Bitcoin, I, I I checked that wallet. I remember that I once bought that. So it was about one thousand. One thousand or something like that. In around four years. Uh huh. I'm kind of confused. I'm looking at the Avian Network um, Explorer. Oh, never mind. Okay, I think I understand. Okay. What? No, I just saw 125,000 Avian being sent out to 27,000 addresses. Sorry, 2,700. 2,700 addresses. Maybe maybe an exchange? Uh, probably. Uh, we listed in on, a, I believe, uh, Trade Ogre and uh, another another exchange. I don't remember. I cannot recall the uh, name. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, Robert. Well, I, keep, us, keep us updated, man. Uh, I want to know more about Avian. I think it's a cool project. Yeah, sure. Let me know anytime you, know, you want to talk. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, sounds good, man. Yeah, reach out to me for sure. We'll get that set up. Yeah, cool. All right, buddy. Anyone else? Anyone else want to talk about anything crypto before we get wrap up this episode, the last episode of Crypto Chill and Chat of the Year, and maybe forever. Let's go Ravencoin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Let's go Ravencoin. John, thank you for the space. Thank you for all making it happen. It, uh, Crypto Lisa, thank you for empowering women and for being there for mental health. Not everybody's out there for that, so and a lot of people need that support. So I uh, appreciate everyone. All right. With that said, Cryptonauts, Stack Sats, and Huddle. Adios.